Craig Cohen 87 here for episode 130 of the Iron Day. Today is going to be a shoulder day. I'm looking forward to it. I love the pushing days. I just had my masseuse work on my shoulders and triceps and pecs and lower back. So I should be at 100%. Not that I was really feeling pain anyways, but you know. Um, let's see, what else? There's really not much to say. I feel really good, happy with yesterday's exercise. I'm completely rested. I'm not sore at all. I feel fresh and energized and ready to destroy the weights. Oh yeah, i see you in the gym. All right, first set, first exercise. Let's get off to a strong start. 55 pounds total, 15 to 20 reps. Let's see what I got. With, with good control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh yeah, that's good, oh yeah. Third set, down to 40 pounds, anything above 15 is acceptable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nailed it. First set. I'm gonna do 85 pounds. If I can get more than 12, I'm gonna go to 90. Last week I got 80 pounders for 15. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit 14 or 15 with these. I was considering going up to 90, but you know what? I wanna make that progress every week. So I think I could smash 12 this week and then smash 90 next, uh, hit the 85s this week and hit the 90s next week and then maybe be at 95 in three weeks. Oof, let's go hit some smelly salts. I bag out 12 minimum. High quality reps. I smell burning. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, yeah. Oof. 85 pounds. Lightweight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oof. Really happy with that set. When I say lightweight, it's actually lightweight. They're not 200-pound uh, dumbbells. All right, 90 seconds begins now. Second set, 65-pound dumbbells. I got 13 last week with 60s. I want 15. Let's do this shit. 
Oh yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. One more. Uh, yeah. Woo. Thirteen's good. I only needed to do twelve, so I can move up next week on those as well. All right, time for some dumbbell side laterals. I've been doing 35. I think I got 35 for 17 last week. You know, I tried to do the 40 pound dumbbells. I just, I can't do them with proper technique. It's, they're, they're too heavy. So I'm going to go with the 35s. And I don't know that I'm going to beat them because I'm really going to emphasize on as much delt and as little trap. I think I'm involving my traps too much. So I'm really, I'm not going to bring my, my, my hands in. I'm going to keep them out and really lift with the traps. All right. Let's do this yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. Eleven, twelve. 13. 13. One more. Oh, yeah. Set number two, 35 again. Just like before, arms out wide. Emphasize the shoulders, not the traps. Whew. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Third and final. Let's go with thirty-five again. Just like before, at least ten. Less water than a horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. That was a bit questionable, but the first eight were good. All right, let's go see what's next. All right, time for a superset. Barbell upright row with the reverse pack deck. I'm going to stick with the 100 pounds. I got them for 14 last week. First set. So my goal is 15 or better. And then I raised the pack deck from 100 to 115. So let's see how that goes. Let's do this shit. One. Two. Three. Control the negative. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, one more, eighteen. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh yeah. All right, next week I'll be moving up for sure. All right, replay, step two, let's do this shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one more. Ah. Very good. All right, third and final replay. Let's do this shit. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh yeah. Ooh, I'm using straps, which is very good. It's definitely going to one ten next week. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fuck, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh that's it. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. 115 is about right, but I'm going to go up to 110 for the barbell for next week. Whew. And then we'll see how that goes. All right.
And another workout in the books. Just really happy with that workout. I mean, where do I begin? Uh, everything I did, I did very well. I didn't take any steps back. I really like starting with those side lateral machines with the, with the arms straight, actually. It, I, it, it really takes a lot of load off the trap and it adds a little lo more load or all the load to the to the delts, which is my, well, my goal. So yeah, I had to go a bit lighter. So basically what I'm doing is I'm setting a new base, a benchmark because because I can't really compare doing a side lateral raise with the elbow bent 90 degrees versus almost straight up. They're like two completely different movements. Well, they're not completely different movements, but obviously the weight's further away from me, so it's gonna feel a lot heavier. But I'm gonna do it that way from now on, really like that. Uh, shoulder press was very good. I remember I, I did 80 for 15, and then I got 85 again for 15. So that means I'll be doing 90 next week. And um, I have a feeling I'm going to easily get over 12 reps, which means that I'll be doing 95 and then 100 and 105, and hopefully I keep going up by five each week. Now, I could probably do 100 next week, but I like the idea of continuing the momentum, the positive streak. Uh, at the same time, I'm still going to failure, and I'm, it's not like I'm doing 30 or 40 reps. I'm doing, I'm doing 15. So that's still very good. That's still well within the uh, the hypertrophic uh, rep range. I probably like 20 is, you can hit 20. I know that uh, there's like, what's his name? Mike Isretel, Dr. Mike Isretel will say things like, well, you can go up to 35 reps. And that's uh, just as hypertrophic as eight reps. And that may be true in a laboratory, but try to consistently hit 35 reps to failure. That is extremely difficult and very time consuming. So although it technically may be true, it's not practical at all. So I like the, the eight to 15, but whatever my coach writes down in the book, that's what I do. And uh, yeah, I have a very good thing going. I can definitely see the mask coming on. I am, uh, you know, losing a bit of definition, getting a little uh, plump in the stomach, but that's what it means, bulking up. You know, you're gonna gain mostly muscle, but a little bit of fat. And then when, I, when it's time to cut, I'm gonna lose mostly fat, but a little bit of muscle. And that's just uh, how our bodies work and the biology works. And the goal is to maximize each one of those steps as much as possible. And that, I do that just by being consistent, sticking to the plan, not cheating. I never even talk about cheating. Still, since I've started this YouTube channel, I've, 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 I haven't gone to a restaurant once. I never deviate from the meal. Like sometimes I'll, I'll need, let's say 300 grams of rice and I run out, so I'll have like 295 or something like that. Little things like that will happen. But uh, I'll just have a little bit more broccoli or something. But I never deviate. Uh, often, oftentimes I'll have to eat meals back to back and not spaced them out two hours, which isn't ideal, but it's not, it's not a, a critical, it's not of critical importance. I do have a life I have to live. I have things that have to be done. And I, I do have to go to bed at a certain time. Although since I've been on vacay, I've been having no trouble spreading out all the all my meals. It's been perfect. Uh, stretching is going really, really well. I still hate stretching, don't get me wrong, but it is so effective. I'm never gonna stop doing it. And as for my posing, I was focusing on the breathing a lot more and holding the vacuums. I think it went well. I was never panicking at any moment. I was holding them pretty well. And uh, I think my, my my overall posing game is getting a lot better. And I still got months and months to go. I have till next May till I'm on stage, assuming the acne goes away. Which, uh, yeah, so I, I did a, my blood test for my new prescription. It turns out my alts are a little bit higher than, they, than the doctor would like. So they want to scale me back to 30 milligrams of the Epirus instead of the 40 that I've been taking. And I want it to go up to 70, 80 a day. So it's just a, a bit of a, a cog in the progress, but I have, I have a ton of time. And the acne is getting better. I mean, I can't complain. Today you might have seen it, it was a little, uh, might have been a little worse than usual, but that's because I got my massage and my masseuse uses oil. So I got oil on my skin. I'm gonna go scrub it out right after, I, when I get home, I'm gonna eat and scrub it out. And then I should be back to normal. 
And uh, yeah, that's today's day. I mean, it was pretty good, very productive, very happy with it, zero pain. Because I remember I was feeling pain in the elbows and the wrists and my foot, and, and all gone. And my muscles aren't even sore, which is really good. They recover very fast. So tomorrow I will be hitting hamstrings and lats, and that'll be my leg press day so i think i'm going to be doing 770 again i got 12 or 13 last time i mean i'm going to go for 15 but it's okay if i don't hit it as long as i do as many as i did last week to prove that last week wasn't a fluke or one more or better although so far every day this week i've been outperforming last week so i'm tracking very good and uh i think that's that i think we'll, we'll call it an episode very happy with how the channel is going. I'm very happy with the comments I've been getting. I'm, I'm getting with all the encouragement I'm getting. Sometimes you, you're just doing it and you're like, is anybody even watching this stuff? Because it does take a lot of extra time. Yeah, I'm setting up the camera a lot. I got to do all this editing just before bed. And uh, then I got to upload it. Yeah, it's very important that just like with my exercise and my eating and my sleeping, that I be very consistent at it. Consistency is probably the single biggest factor in being successful at anything, at, at really anything. You can't just do it here and there. Even if you're doing a good job, it's not gonna really add up because you have to do something a lot of times, a lot of times consistently. And uh, and then, well then your hard work pays off, you know, and that just goes for everything. Working, owning a business, Whatever it is you're doing, a family, which I can't really speak to, I don't have any kids, but anyways, I'll stop preaching, but uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Latin Abstrings. Peace out.